Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am coming to you with a very bad head cold today. It started Friday night. This is Sunday. I'm hoping that I can recover in just a matter of a few days. That's what we're aiming for. But I thought I would just go ahead and do this because it is now December 3 and I wanted to have the update for you. Uh, yesterday, we're going to be looking at the stats for November 2017 for the full month, and that's when I do the stats for previous years. Also, I want to remind everyone that I traveled in November. I was in Memphis, I think like 11 days, something like that, and then I took a break. Just a break. You would not believe how many people thought that I was quitting YouTube forever. I took a break for one day, and then I came in with a video saying, I just took a break and I'm going to take another little break because I was worried because I say all the time if I take a break it's probably permanent and at the time I felt like it could have been permanent but I wasn't saying I was quitting. I was just letting everybody know I'm taking a break so I don't want everybody to freak out. When I announced that I lost 182 subscribers like that because of me saying that and I was only gone I took three more days off and then when I came back everybody was like you said you were taking a break y yeah I just did when you upload videos daily and all of a sudden you don't have any for three days I think that's considered a break <laughs> Then I had all those people saying, you said you were quitting. How come you're back? Oh my goodness. It was just whatever. I'm not going to announce breaks anymore. I'm just going to take them. I am going to try to not upload every day now because I just need to do other things. And so just letting you know, don't expect daily videos from me. I will do them if it happens to fit into what my plans are for the day, but I'm not going to freak out if I don't, and I'm not going to be announcing if I skip a couple days. I'm not going to bother to tell you guys I'm taking a break, because that's ridiculous. Not every YouTuber uploads daily. So let's just get to the point here. Uh, November sucked, and that's okay, because November sucked for me, mentally, personally, and even now, sickly. Well, actually, this is December, so it's a good time to have a sucky month, because I feel like shit anyway. I have my new roll of toilet paper for my nose, and my ears are congested. I hate that. It's like, you know, when I blow my nose, it's like it's being sucked out of my ear hole. <laughs> when I swallow, and it's all crunchy in there. Could end up being a sinus infection because I do get that now and then, but we're not going to worry about it. Just not going to worry about it. And before you send me every kind of cure under the sun, don't bother. I'm good. <laughs> okay, November 2017. Let's see what we've got. I uploaded 43 videos. 11 of those were exclusive for my patrons. For October, I uploaded a total of 53 videos, and I started Patreon October 19, and I counted really quick. Some of the videos were just very, very short little things because I was just learning it, but it looks like I did 12 for October. My subscribers tanked. I only got 1,024 net subscribers for the entire month of November. In October, I was at... 2,893, and even that was down. I have a total of 33,535 subscribers at this moment. My views, I got 314,328 views, and in October I had 416,328. That's weird. They both ended with 328. My watch time for November... 2,096,964. For October, 2,759,368. My retention was 44%. For October, it was 43%. My gender, the same. 14% boys, 86% girls. My shares were down. 1,265 shares. For October, it was 2,619 shares. My percent of elements clicked on my end screen are 2.62%. It was 2.67% for October. My traffic suggested videos, 54%. 
and brows feature 22%. Everything else is under 5%. For October, suggested videos was 60%, and the brows feature was 19%. And I think the others are always, I didn't write it down, but I think everything else, all the other ones are about 5% or less. Playlists. My videos for November appeared in 4,382 various playlists out there. And October, they appeared in 7,852. I know it's weird to me that people would take things out of a playlist. See, I don't. If I put something in a playlist, I just leave it there forever. So it's just unusual to me that people would put things in a playlist and then take them out unless they are using them. See, I think, though, that Watch Later is considered a playlist. That's right. So I think a lot of people must put things in Watch Later and then they delete that after they watch it. That's probably what's going on. Revenue sucks. $938.18. I dipped under a thousand. For October, I was at $1,216.43. However, I'm not including Patreon stats like to reach a goal and stuff. That's all separate. But I did have, geez, I think it was $579 processed through Patreon for the month of November. I get about 75% of that, so I think my cut and some cards decline. I actually do stats. I'm going to. I did them once for October, but it was just for two weeks. So I will be doing the full month of November on Patreon for my patrons. It's going to help me to learn what's going on and how things work in there. Um, but it looks like I'll be at least making probably like $420 or something cleared to me. So including that on here, you know, that's not bad for the month. That's at least giving me, you know, probably close to $1,400 for the month. But again, I have a goal right now of $1,500 per month that I want to make, and I'm not counting that towards that. So... Here's the deal. What are we doing next? Okay, so let's do the stats for previous years. One year ago, I had 7,687 subscribers total. So I've come a long way in a year. I had a little over 100,000 views, a little over half a million minutes of watch time, and my earnings for the month of November 2016 were... $252.68. Now, if you're looking back at these stats, because I know some of you have been keeping track for the whole time that I've been doing this, the revenue does change after I record these videos. It changes until we actually get paid. Um, two years ago, my subs, I had 862 subscribers. My views were just over 10,000 views. My watch time was 47,000, just over 47,000 minutes of watch time. And my revenue was $25.22. Three years ago, when my channel was only three months old, I had 134 subscribers. I had 4,770 views for that month. I had 18,179 minutes of watch time, and my earnings were $13.55. That was my three-month-old channel, and I'm telling you, I'm sure I was tickled to death about that. Countries. 208 countries watched my videos, and I really don't think there are that many countries, so I don't know what else they're including. Gotta have a sip of coffee. Gotta blow my nose. Hang on. I think I like the taste of decaf better. I don't know why, but it just tastes good. Okay. Um, countries. 208 mysterious countries watched my videos. <laughs> my top three always are US, UK, Canada. US had 73% of the watch time. UK, 9.1%. And I'm going to look to make sure the red light is on, and it is... Canada, 6.2%. Australia, 2.0%. Germany, 0.9%. Um, seaweed? No, I think that's Sweden, 0.7%. <laughs> New Zealand, 0.6%. Netherlands, 0.5%. Ireland, 0.5%. Finland, 0.5%. My bottom five countries are 
Not only do I not ever know how to pronounce them, but I didn't, you know, I just jot them down and I don't really pay attention to spelling. Cape Verde was fifth from last. Turk and Caicos Islands, and I think I would only know how to pronounce that if I'm even pronouncing it correctly, because I used to watch Real Housewives a long time ago, and they used to go there sometimes. Mali, Benin, 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 B-E-N-I-N, and, oh my god, Svalbard? Oh, what did that say? Okay, I have to look it up. Something like Svalbard and Jan Mayen. We're going with that. And those countries, my bottom five countries, watched a total of 38 seconds. Total. All five of them. 38 seconds of my videos they watched. My states. Now this blew me away. When I was about to look up the states, I thought, maybe I should do top ten states because Maine has never been in the top 10. I think it was 11th place once and I, and I thought maybe if I start doing top 10 maybe we'll eventually see Maine in the top 10. So I click on the states and Maine is in friggin second place. What happened? It was in 20th place in October. All I can think is that maybe on my flight videos I did a lot of tags that said Portland, Maine, Jetport, Portland, Maine, stuff like that. So maybe it was showing up on more Maine people's uh, suggested videos in their, wherever, their feed or whatever on their screen. That's all I can think of. So um, with the top five, I'm just going to do top five, states are California with 8.8% .8 of the watch time. Maine, my home state, 8.6% of the watch time. I'm so excited. Come on, Maine, keep it up. Texas, 7.6%. New York, 4.8%. And, oh, Massachusetts, 4.6%. The bottom five states were in fifth from last, North Dakota, Wyoming, Idaho, Delaware, and in bottom place, South Dakota, those states had anywhere from three and a half to eight minutes of watch time per state. Let me quickly take you over to my computer just to show you the stats. And my computer, um, what's it called? Mic? Doesn't seem to be working good. It's like very quiet, but we're going with it. You can see that we are looking at the stats for November 1st through November 30th. And this is what the month looks like, and I should say 2017. Um, nothing exciting at all. I'm still just happy with anything, and yeah, you know, last month was just a really rough month for me, so I'm good with it all. Now we can see that one thing that has happened is that the glass pendants has dropped. That was making like a lot of money for a while, and now it's not, which is understandable. I still have quilting in the top, a personal update that made it that high. My goodness, like I said, people like train wrecks. <laughs> Obviously, some Memphis stuff is there. And I'll just scroll down and let you guys look. Pause if you want to study anything. And that's about it for that. Now, I did want to mention, while I've got some of you right here, in Patreon, you're looking at the inside of my account, which is why you're actually seeing this video. If you've been thinking about joining my Patreon, now's a good time, because I just posted this video like two nights ago. I just sat down to talk to my patrons. I had no clue what I was going to talk about. And then, you know, the current headlines about how men have been doing a little bit of naughty things like in the office place and stuff like that made me share a couple of my stories. And I'm, I'm getting very good, funny comments about this. It's, you know, it's clean. It's not sexual. But, you know, I did a lot of partying in my days, so I saw a lot of different things. So you might want to go check it out. And here I'm going to tell you a tip. Even if you join and you hate my Patreon you can just cancel and you won't even be charged the dollar. They don't charge until the beginning of the next month for the previous month. So you can go on in and you have access to every video that I've done since. I'm trying to see. Where are some other videos here? 
you know, just every video that I've done since I started Patreon, you get access to it, you get access to the comments. This is another one that's raw, obviously. Oh, yeah, I talked a little bit about Louis C.K. and God. So, you know, just feel free to check it out, and I'll, I'll talk to you a little bit more about it when we go back to the camera. As for Patreon, I even asked them, am I allowed to tell people that they won't get charged if they join and cancel before they get charged? And they actually said, yeah, but why would you want to? And it's like, well, because if I can let people know that they've got a sneaky little way to check out the videos, it's because a lot of people have content that, you know, that they share, like artwork and things like that, and they just don't want people going in to see the stuff and then leaving without, you know, pledging. But you can pledge a buck. You can see you can see all my dollar videos. I do have a few in there that are three dollar ones. Um, if you pledge the three dollars, that will open that up. And this is per month, one time per month. Um, you know, I, I'm. It's not that I'm begging anybody to do that. And you have to know that I am raw and inappropriate at times. I do swear. Other words that you're probably not used to hearing. Words that are near and dear to my heart. I absolutely love my Patreon because it gives me the freedom to be myself. And I'm loosening up more and more as I go. I've only been doing it for a little over a month. Was it, I uh, said, October 19. So like six weeks so far. And you have to like my sense of humor or think of, you know, comedians like Jim Jeffries and Louis C.K. and all the ones with dirty mouths. That's me. I love those guys. So uh, you can you can check it out. I'd be more than happy to have you there. And, and if you feel like Patreon is where creators are begging for handouts, it's not that at all. I realize the value in what I do. If you don't, that's not my problem. But it's valuable, and it's just like if one day I were to be a stand-up comic on a stage, you wouldn't be able to get in for free just because I have free videos on YouTube. You'd have to pay for that. So think of it that way. And uh, if you want to skip a cup of coffee once a month, you, know, you can afford Patreon. All right, I'm going to um, mention one last thing. The limited ads, I want to mention that YouTube is still flagging every single one of my videos. This has been going on for more than a couple months, I would say. I upload a video, and sometimes it's immediate. Before I even make it public, it will get flagged for limited ads. This is not demonetized. There is a big difference. And so many YouTubers, YouTubers who have been around forever, are still saying that their videos are being demonetized. No, demonetized is a gray dollar sign and your videos are not monetized. Yellow dollar sign is limited ads. You can still earn. You do still earn with YouTube Red. And I have actually earned on some of my limited ad videos with limited ads. They find advertisers to go onto my video and please don't listen to what the YouTubers are saying. If you're experiencing this, if you're a creator and you're frustrated with that, it has nothing to do with your title, your tags. People are like, oh, take out this word and do this. It's just YouTube is having issues with trying to keep advertisers happy. They're playing with the algorithm. Many creators are going through the same thing. People who have very innocent vlog channels, all their videos are getting flagged for limited ads, not suitable for all advertisers. I mean, if you think of it, all videos can be not suitable for all advertisers. If you have a channel where you're showing people how to crochet, that's not suitable for an advertiser who is selling real estate. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't mean it's bad. They're just trying to figure things out. So what you have to do, since they don't give you a notice, like via email or anything, letting you know that you've been flagged, you have to constantly go into your uh, creator studio and see if you've got yellow uh, dollar signs. You have to request a manual review. My manual reviews take about 24 hours and every single one of them has passed it. I'm not doing anything wrong. It's just the process we have to go through until YouTube gets this shit straightened out. 
or maybe it's just something they want to do so that they can cut back on the amount of ads that they're putting out there. They're still allowed to put their own ads and not pay us. You know what I mean? So there's like a little bit of sneaky stuff probably going on. But remember, YouTube owes us nothing. We are lucky that they allow us to even advertise on our videos. And do remember, Google AdSense is who pays us, not YouTube. We put our ads on the videos, and when Google AdSense figures out how much we earned, YouTube gets a 45-ish percent cut of that. We're paying YouTube. They're not paying us. And if we don't want YouTube to earn from our videos, then we can shut the ads off and just be on YouTube and earn nothing. I would much rather share my ad revenue with YouTube so I can earn some, you know, to begin with. Because if I don't share with them, then I'm not able to earn at all. So I just wanted to let you know that, and don't listen to what all the YouTubers out there are saying. Don't even listen to what I'm saying. But what I'm saying makes sense because I do watch a lot of tipsters, and I tend to watch the ones who are not just, like, you know, they're in this. They they go to conventions and all stuff. They, they get more information than just the people saying, oh, I took the word God out of my title, and I got it, you know, the it turns green again. Yeah, it's going to turn green again. Some of them turn green again even if you don't request the manual review. But when I was in Memphis, I wasn't checking my account. And I had a lot of them that were yellow and probably were yellow for three or four days. So that has a lot to do with my income going down also. Okay, I have talked way too much. Headache! So I'm just going to say bye. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back with more soon. Bye!